praise the lord hello everyone welcome to the first class of the year before we begin let us recite a small prayer kindly join your hands and close your eyes prayer creator of all things true source of light and wisdom origin of all being graciously let a ray of your brilliance penetrate the darkness of my understanding take from me the double darkness in which i have been born sin and ignorance give me a keen understanding a retentive memory and the ability to grasp things correctly and fundamentally grant me the talent of being exact in my explanations and the ability to express myself with thoroughness and charm point out the beginning direct the progress and aid in the completion grant this through christ jesus our lord amen So this year we are going to learn about the people who awaited the redeemer. When Adam and Eve sinned against God and sin came into the world, God intervened and promised a redeemer for them and the whole human race. In this book, we are going to study about the life of people of the Old Testament who lived according to God's will in the hope of seeing the redeemer Jesus Christ. Now, there are certain reminders to go through. Kindly note that this video is not meant to be a substitute for your catechism textbook lesson. Instead, it gives a summary that would help to reinforce the concepts covered in your lesson. So please make sure that you have read the chapter from the textbook before continuing with this video. If you haven't received your textbook, please pause the video and read the lesson at the Siro Malabar Smart Catechism website. A link for this has been provided in the description box. Please keep your Bible with you and the notebook as well to use for this year's class. So, let's begin. Lesson 1, Bible, the history of salvation. The word Bible is derived from the Greek word Biblia which means books. The New Revised Standard Version of Bible is a collection of 73 books and is divided into two sections, Old Testament and New Testament. Old Testament has 46 books and the New Testament with 27 books. Did you know that Bible is the most read book and that it is considered to be the best selling book of all time? Bible is also the most printed book. Where the Gutenberg Bible was the first book printed using movable type. Bible is also published in largest number of languages. With this, we understand that God gave the Holy Scriptures not just for Christians but for the whole humanity. We would further learn Bible as a guide to life, the life-giving word, the message of God. and finally the history of god experience bible guide to life psalm chapter 119 verse 105 says your word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path yes god's word guides our steps and gives light in our darkest times the word of god also explains different aspects like beginning of universe origin of humans the goals of human life as well as the means to attain those goals imbibes in us the good values and also makes us understand the consequences of evil therefore holy scripture serves as a guide for life leading to heaven or union with god as the final goal bible the life giving word As the scripture says in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 Man shall not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God Children do you know what this whole chapter is about Yes you got it right It is about Jesus being tempted in the wilderness It is said that man cannot live only with the material things but the word of God which is life and spirit and the one who listens to the word of god receives eternal life bible the message of god 
each book of the bible speaks to us in different ways bible is full of messages of love from god the father to his children the word of god gives life comfort in distress health in illness strength in weakness quoting from the words of saint jose maria escriva a recently canonized saint he says when you open the holy gospel think that what is written there the words and deeds of christ is something that you should not only know but live everything every point that is told there has been gathered detail by detail for you to make it come alive in the individual circumstances of your life take up the gospel every day then and read it and live it as a definite truth as mentioned earlier there are 46 books in the old testament it presents the first part of god's plan for the salvation of mankind the books of the old testament are divided into three categories historical prophetic and instructional the first five books of the old testament tells us about the creation of universe election of israel liberation of israel entry into the promised land and the laws set out as guidance for life these first five books are called pentateuch which is a greek word and means five books in malayalam we call it as pancha granthi and torah in hebrew and the five books in order are genesis exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy let us revise it once again the five books are genesis exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy now coming to the new testament it consists of 27 books the core aspect of the new testament is that it fulfills the old testament the first four books of the new testament are called the gospels other books are in order acts of apostles 13 letters of saint paul letter to the hebrews seven catholic letters and book of revelation here we see the division of books in the old and the new testament under the different headings this would help you to understand better now bible history of god experience we see how god intervened in the lives of israelites delivered them protected and cared for them in the desert and then brought them to the promised land the god who constantly intervened in their lives does intervene in our lives as well he who guided israel in their crisis shall also guide us in times of need therefore from the lesson we understand that those who listen to the word of god with faith and live accordingly shall have salvation and life the word of god lifts you up when you fail put your trust in god hence take a pledge to read the holy bible daily with devotion let us pray o lord i seek you with my whole heart don't let me stray from your commandments here is a small quest for you to answer you can write this in your notebook One, name the first five books of the Old Testament. Two, name the books in the New Testament other than the Gospels. And now the activity for the week. Read and meditate Genesis chapter nine verses one to seventeen. Also, memorize the below mentioned verse and write the same in your notebook. Your word is lamp to my feet and light to my path. Psalms chapter 119 verse 105.
Therefore, let us make sure that we read the Holy Bible daily with devotion, as Saint Josemaria Escriva said. God bless you all and see you next week.